Time to bring you the latest in sports news. My name is Thierry Nyan, and I'm going to be uh, giving you the latest in sports news in the next uh, five minutes or so. But we start off with some rather sad news, and uh, that has got to do with the news that hit us uh, this early this morning uh, with Nigerian uh, head ex Nigerian head coach Stephen Keshi, who passed uh, this particular morning. Now, following the sad death of uh, you know legendary Nigerian coach and former footballer Stephen Okechukwu Keshi uh, on a Wednesday morning, several football icons and journalists have pulled out their tributes in for the man who helped change Nigerian football sometime after winning as a player um, in 1994 and also as a, a coach later in 2013. I'm talking about the AFCON tournament here in Africa. May it be Ironies don't come in bigger packets. Less than three years after he was banned from football for reporting late to national camp, he was so vital to Nigeria's aspirations that he was flown down in a charter jet to play for his country at the African Cup of Nations. But he could only play two matches as a result of club commitments. Stephen Okechuku Chinedu Keshi, who died from a suspected cardiac arrest in the early hours of Wednesday, was one of the most influential figures in the history of Nigerian football. He was not called the big boss for nothing. He was a leader on and off the pitch. He has to be duly credited for revolutionizing Nigerian football by paving way for the players to showcase their talents in Europe. It marked the beginning of a whole chapter in their history. Journalists and football icons on the continent have expressed their condolences on social media after the sudden death of the former Mali and Togo coach. May it be Keshi had remained out of job since July 2015 after he was sacked by the NFF. He was believed to be gradually recovering from his wife's death in December. Recently, there were rumors that Orlando Pirates of South Africa had shortlisted him for a coaching vacancy. Keshi has kicked the bucket and will never kick a football again. A big loss to African football. The uh, African continent still mourns uh, Stephen Keshi, who definitely has made some sort of impact in uh, you know African football. Uh, more Ghanaian players have also poured in their tributes, uh, you know, for Stephen Keshi. The likes of Stephen Apia, Richard Kenson, uh, Abubakari Damba have all uh, you know had their say on that particular loss to African football. This man in our shots has passed today, um, Stephen Keshi, because like I was telling you, some. Other Ghanaian footballers have poured in their tributes on Wednesday, and uh, they uh, include the likes of Steve Napier, Abubakar Damba, Tony Bafo, and Richard Kenson. Uh, they have all shared their condolences. Let's take a listen to them. Oh, it's very sad. Uh, this is my first time of hearing it, and uh, all the same, we, we all belong to be there, and uh, I would just say very sorry to the family and to all the relatives and the friends. Uh, everybody have to be strong because it's something that nobody can tell. It, it, it can happen to anybody. It's sad that he's gone, but there's nothing we can do about it. Having said that, yes, Stephen Akeshi, apart from the fact that he was a professional, he was a good guy, you know, and I have very fond memories of him in Senegal, 92, when we lost, uh, they lost Ghana. After the game, he walked into the dressing room of Ghana team and was congratulating every single person. Well, I woke up this morning and I saw the sad story on, on Twitter, on Instagram. I mean, it's so sad that uh, Stevie Keshi is one of uh, the legends that we have in Africa. And I remember always when he sees us, people like me, and the love that he showed, his advice. Uh, living today is a big blow for us. Yeah, the sad news affectionately called the big boss Keshi. Um, he was not only a player who won the African Cup uh, as a player and a coach, um, he was a guy who cared for others. 
It's quite sad. That tells me also we must take good care of ourselves. It's very sad news for us, for all of us, of all of US, all of us. Sorry, because this guy, I didn't know him personally, but the way how he was doing things. He was big player from African, it's not just from Nigeria, for African and then he, he was big coach as well. He achieved a lot of things from Nigeria, he won the African Cup. So that's all for sports with me, Thierry Nyan here on News 360.